remember her. I beg you. You're Aloy, aren't you? They say you've been made a seeker with rite of passage from the sacred land. Yes. To track the killers who attacked the proving. I can't imagine leaving all mother's protection. But my sister Nicola is like you. Fearless. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. He's dangerous. I'm really worried about her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. But the matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicole. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nicole to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems cruel. Did the matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father doing the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred land, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. All mother, hear my prayer. Keep your back straight. Don't think about her face. Mother, this must be mother's crown. So I should be around here somewhere. I'll know better next time. Are you, Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower, looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this... This... Corruption among the machines. But Morea might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. I won't. I promise.
Captain Blon? I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Now, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zai can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Saeed is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. If there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karger at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom, especially now after. Well, while your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place, a living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram, and the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Osram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Osram for years. Abad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Osram siblings, bigger than life. 
They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them, scaled the North Cliff with my men, and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azuram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nakoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people. And I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Watch out for the Asaron merchants. They'll as soon cheat you as the This must be Lonesome Rock. If it's a trap, I might need to go in quiet. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. I'm so bored. I'm bored with being bored. I'm bored with you talking about being bored. I'm bored with you complaining about me being bored. I wasn't complaining about you being bored. I was complaining about your complaining. Well, now I'm complaining about your complaining. Hold, Outlander. What are you doing here? Hunting. I've been tracking a sawtooth for the better part of a day. Well, you must have lost the scent, because we haven't seen any round here. Now be on your way, and quickly. Well, they don't want to talk, so let's see if they're hiding something. She's snooping around. Something. Wrap her up and tie her down, boys. <laughs> Oh! 
Bleed before the sun. It's hiding out here. There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. That'll help. That one. Tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside.
Wade says hands off or he'll hurt. Got something.
Let's take her down! <laughs> No room. Prisoners, chained up to be sold as slaves. Nikoa, Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. Please. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men.
You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was gonna sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time, kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. Mm -hmm.